Chris Maddox for the crossover alongside Rowan Nadkarni. Rowan, on the heels of a successful play-in tournament, the NBA is reportedly considering bringing a mid-season tournament into the fold as soon as next season. Your thoughts on a mid-season tournament? Chris, I don't think that this is necessarily a good idea, but I think it's the right idea, all right? I, I think that the NBA has recognized that its regular season product is lagging behind the playoff product. Obviously, it's hard to judge off this season, which was effect affected by the pandemic. But uh, you're looking at teams around the league that, frankly, just aren't taking the regular season that seriously. Uh, you know, players being held out of injury with injury for an extra game or two. Uh, I think that the NBA needs to find a way to inject a sense of urgency into the regular season. So I, I don't know that the current midseason tournament idea is the perfect setup, but I like the thinking, at least in terms of what do we do to get more teams to care about these games before the playoffs? Uh, because I think, as you know, we're people who consume the product on a daily basis. It's just not as good during the regular season as it is during the playoffs. Look, the play-in tournament served a function, right? It prevented widespread tanking at the end of the season. Only a handful of teams really tanked this year, whereas others that may have tanked pursued to the very end that number 10 seed in either conferences. So I get the play-in tournament. I don't get a midseason tournament. Do you think any players are really going to care about being crowned the midseason tournament champion? I mean, you're going to have to significantly financially incentivize these players in order to get them to be remotely interested in being the midseason tournament champion or the midseason tournament MVP. Why would players care? I don't disagree with the premise that the dog days of the season can be rough. I just don't know how this makes it any better. I, I can't, I just can't fathom like LeBron James or Kevin Durant getting up for a midseason tournament. These guys are championship focused, NBA championship bonus, finals focused. They're not going to be focused on a midseason tournament. I, I mean, the ESPN report for what it's worth did mention the idea of a $1 million per player reward if they win the tournament. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I mean, a million dollars is nothing to scoff at. Certainly, uh, even for some of these guys who are making, you know, tens of millions of dollars a year. Uh, do they give out championship belts? People seem to love championship belts, Chris. I think it'd be pretty cool if a team got to walk around with a championship belt for a whole year. I don't know. I, I'm with you. I, I don't know how you get the players to get up for it, but I hope that there's a way to incentivize it. Uh, I mean, you bring up Kevin Durant, uh, him, you know, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, as it's been stated here and many other places numerous times barely played together this season. I, what, what can you do to kind of get those guys to want to play? Is, is it a million-dollar carrot in the middle of the season? I, I don't know, but, I, I mean, at least it's something, right? At least they're trying to come up with something uh, to make, you know, the regular season a little more exciting. Well, I question whether the money will be there to provide a $1 million per player type of incentive. Look, the NBA wouldn't even incentivize the slam dunk contest. Like, there's nothing that needs more financial incentive than the slam dunk contest, which gets C and D level players, no disrespect to them, every single year. So if you're not going to put like five million to the dunk contest, I don't see how you're going to put 15, 20 million into a midseason tournament. For more, check us out over at SI.com.